السلام علیکم جیسے کہ آپ لوگ جانتے ہیں کہ فیڈرل بورڈ نے کیمسٹری کے بک چینج کر دی ہے آپ لوگوں کو بالکل گھبرانے کی ضرورت نہیں ہے کیونکہ سارے اکیڈمی آپ لوگوں کو ہر چیپٹر کے آنسرز پرووائڈ کرے گی چلیے اسٹارٹ کرتے ہیں پہلا پارٹ ہمارے پاس آتا ہے ہاؤ ڈیز کیمسٹری ہیلپ سے ڈاکٹر نو اباؤٹ دی کیمیکل نیچر آف میڈیسن آنسر کیمسٹری از اسینشیل ان میڈیسن ایز اٹ ہیلپس ڈاکٹر ڈاکٹرس انڈرسٹینڈ دا کیمیکل کمپوزیشن آف میڈیسن انشورنگ دے پرسکرائب دا رائٹ ڈوزیج اینڈ اینٹیسپیٹ پوٹینشیل انٹریکشن لیڈنگ ٹو سیفر اینڈ مور افیکٹیو فریکوینس فار پیشنٹس پارٹ نمبر ٹو آتا ہے ان وٹ پیس ڈز ٹیکنالوجیکل انوویشن ہیلپ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا ڈیولپمنٹ آف نیو مٹیریل آنسر ٹیکنالوجیکل ایڈوانسمنٹ از وین وی لرن نیو تھنگس ڈیٹ میک سائنس اور ٹیکنالوجی بیٹر It lets us try out new ideas and see if they work. Furthermore, it helps us to it helps it helps us learn how to use new technology to make new materials, electronics, clean energy, and ways to clean waste water. Part number three, my pass at they differentiate between geochemistry and astrochemistry. Geochemistry is the branch of chemistry that deals with the study of chemical composition, distribution, and transformation of elements and compounds in the Earth's crust. such as rocks, minerals, soils, water, and the atmosphere. Astrochemistry is a branch of chemistry that deals with the study of chemical processes and reactions that occur in astronomical environments such as stars, planets, comets, comets and inter- interstellar spaces. Part number four, Atem, my past, with the help of an example, correlate to the use of science, technology, and engineering. Engineering is the use of science and technology to design and construct systems, structures, and tools for various processes. Chemical engineers develop and design manufacturing processes to produce chemicals, fuels, food, food medicines, polymers, detergents, paper, etc. They often work to maximize productivity and product quality. Part number five, out there with the help of the Venn diagram, compare and contrast organic and inorganic chemistry. We have a Venn diagram. Hai. Okay. Part number six. What are the uses of nuclear chemistry? It is used in medical imaging. For example, iodine-123 is used to image the brain. It's, uh, nuclear chemistry is also used in medical diagnosis. For example, iodine-131 is used in diagnosing thyroid problems. And sodium-24 is used to di- uh, detect blockage in blood flow. It is also used in therapeutic treatments. For example, cobalt-60 is used in cancer treatment for radiotherapy. Question number three, हमारे पास बहुत important question आता है. Define chemistry and its intera- and its and its interaction with other matter and energy. Chemistry is defined as this. ये long question में भी आ सकता है. Chemistry is defined as the science that investigates the materials of the universe and the changes that these materials undergo. Chemistry deals with the composition, structure, properties, behaviors, and changes of matter and energy. In number one, insight into matter and the natural world. Chemistry helps understand how everything with matter breaks down into chemical building blocks, explaining natural phenomena like leaf color changes and food preservation. Number two, scientific method and critical thinking. Chemistry teaches critical thinking through observation, experimentation, and analysis, promoting an understanding of the scientific method. Number three, predict. Predicting and controlling reactions. Chemistry explores predicting and controlling chemical reactions, fostering critical thinking. Pharmacists use this knowledge to develop new medicines. Constructing new materials. Chemistry research leads to new medicines, plastic, fertilizers, cleaners, and batteries. Number five, energy production and storage. Chemistry is crucial in developing energy devices like smartphones, computers, and generators. Number six, health in medicine. Chemistry helps doctors understand medicine's chemical nature and its relation to biological targets. Number seven, environmental impact. Chemistry helps recognize, observe, defend, and improve the environment by understand, understanding pollutant behavior and developing pollution control techniques. Number eight, agriculture and food science. Chemistry's knowledge is vital in understanding soil fertilizers and pesticides for enhanced crop yields, and sustainable farming. Number nine, technological advancements. Chemistry drives technological advancements, enabling the development of new materials, electronics, renewable energy, and wastewater treatment methods. Question number four, my pass at that. Describe the applications of inorganic chemistry and its importance in our daily lives. This is the most important question. 
Number one, lithium ion batteries, which are used in electronics, twice, wireless headphones, power tools, appliances, electric storage, and electric vehicles as its are rechargeable batteries. Common salts, NaCl, widely used in daily life for various applications. Baking soda, commonly used in baking cakes and other goods. Okay. Number four, silicon in microchips, used in electric circuits, particularly in microchips. Question number five, very important question. With the help of few examples, highlight the relation between science, technology, and engineering. Number one, rusting of iron. Scientists investigate chemical reactions between iron, water, and oxygen causing rust. Experiments help understand factors influencing rust formation and develop pre prevention strategies. Number two, harnessing solar energy. Scientists study photovoltaic cells to convert sunlight into energy, electricity. Technologists develop solar panels based on these principles, while engineers design and implement renewable energy systems on a large scale. Number three, plastic bags. Scientists study monomers that form polymers like polyethylene used in plastic bags. Engineers use this knowledge to create durable, flexible, and easily produced bags. So, by this conclusion, like these examples demonstrate how science, technology, and engineering work together in various aspects of our daily life. Whether it's understanding chemical reaction using technological devices or solving practical problems through engineering solutions. These concepts are interconnected and contribute to advancements that impact the world around us. Question number six, evaluate the role of chemistry in environmental science. This is also an important question. Number one, chemistry plays a crucial role in understanding, monitoring, protecting, and improving the environment. Environmental chemistry is employed to safeguard water contaminated by soil and dust through methods like sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection. Number three, chemicals contribute to reducing emissions from transportation by developing cleaner fuels and incorporating catalytic converters in car exhaust to, to mitigate air pollution. Num Number four, the use of renewable energy sources over fossil fuels can help control air pollution and reduce the production of CO2, a major greenhouse gas responsible for global warming. Number five, chemical underscores the Chem sorry, chemistry underscores the importance of limiting the use of fluorofluorocarbons due to their role in ozone depletion. What is geochemistry help us to solve the problems such as pollution and climate change? Geochemistry plays a significant role in addressing pollution and climate change challenges. It helps in understanding the sources and behavior of pollutants, aiding in pollution prevention and re remediation strategies. Additionally, geochemical studies mm -hmm. provide insights into natural carbon sinks, aiding in the development of carbon capture and storage technologies. Understanding chemical processes in climate change help, helps predict future patterns and develop mit mitigation strategies. Question number eight. How is organic chemistry applied in medicines, biochemistry, and industrial science? Organic chemistry finds application, uh, finds application in medicines, biochemistry, and industrial science. In medicine, Organic chemists synthesize drugs that target specific proteins or enzymes to treat diseases. It is also essential in, development, in developing new materials in industries. For instance, the oil used for frying potatoes contains organic molecules like carbohydrates. Carbohydrates to understand their properties and food technologists extract oil from seeds. Chemical engineers design equipment and processes for efficient and safe oil production for cooking. अगर आप लोगों को मेरी वीडियोस अच्छी लगती हैं तो लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलिएगा और अगर आप लोगों को इसके पीडीएफ नोट्स चाहिए ताकि आप प्रिंट कर सकें तो मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन के अंदर आप लोगों को इसका लिंक दे दूंगी